Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect Squarespace domain to Google Sites with easy steps. If you've been wondering how to use a custom domain with Google Sites, or you're trying to figure out how to point your Squarespace domain to a Google Sites website, then you're in the right place. Let's start with the basics. First, open Google Sites and go to the website where you want to connect your domain. This process is part of the Google Sites custom domain setup, and it's simpler than it sounds. Once you're on your Google Sites dashboard, click the Settings icon in the top right corner. From there, choose Custom Domains, and then hit Start Setup. This is the main section where we begin the process to add a custom domain to Google Sites. Now, go to your Squarespace account, log in, and navigate to the domain section. You'll find the domain name that you want to connect. In our example, let's say it's PMN Tech Fix. This is the domain we'll use to demonstrate how to link a Squarespace domain to Google Sites. Copy the domain from Squarespace, head back to Google Sites, and paste it into the domain field. Google Sites will now check the domain, and since it's not yet verified, it will ask you to verify domain ownership in Google Sites. Click on Verify Your Ownership, and it will take you to Google Search Console. Here, your domain will be pre-filled. Click Continue, and you'll now see a few different verification methods. Choose the TXT method as it's recommended and works best with Squarespace DNS settings. Now, copy the TXT record shown to you. You'll need to paste this into your Squarespace DNS settings panel. Don't worry, it's easy. Back in Squarespace, under your domain dashboard, go to DNS settings, Scroll down to Custom Records and click Add Record. Select TXT as the type. For the host, enter the at symbol. In the data box, paste the TXT record you copied earlier from Google Search Console. Click Save and that's it. You've just added the TXT record needed to verify your domain. This is a crucial step in any Squarespace DNS settings tutorial. Now, return to Google Search Console and click Verify. If everything is correct, you should get a message that says Ownership Verified. Click Done and head back to your Google Sites custom domain settings. Start the domain setup process again. Go to Settings, Custom Domains, Start Setup and paste your domain again. This time, Google will recognize it as verified. Now comes the second part, adding a CNAME record to point your Squarespace domain to Google Sites. Back in Squarespace, return to DNS settings, scroll to custom records, and click add record again. This time, choose CNAME as the record type. Enter www as the host and paste the CNAME destination address into the data box. Click Save. If you get a conflict error because of an existing CNAME record, simply delete that default Squarespace CNAME by clicking the trash icon. It's safe to remove since you're switching to Google Sites. Once that's cleared, add the new CNAME record again. Make sure the host is www and the data is exactly what Google Sites provided. Now that both the TXT record for verification and the CNAME record for domain pointing are in place, your Squarespace domain is officially connected to your Google site. Remember, DNS propagation may take 24 to 48 hours. During this time, the domain connection might not appear instantly. You can track progress by visiting a tool like Google DNS Checkers. And that's it! You've now learned how to connect a Squarespace domain to Google Sites.